Okay, folks, <laughs> back again. This is number 72, part 2. You know how that was cut off pretty abruptly? Anyway, before I started tonight, I changed the battery in the camera, and then I said, well, why don't you check to see how much memory you have? Did I do that? No, I said, of course you have enough memory for just a few, few of these tapes. Hey, I didn't have any memory. That's why it was cut off. But uh, let me start up the old watch. I did go back and look at it, and I got cut off when I was talking about Carl Hyacin. And uh, <laughs> this, <laughs> I really shouldn't even be saying this, but what the hell, there's nobody out there anyway, so what the hell difference does it make? But anyway, this, this book I started, if, if, you've, if you've read Carl Hyacin, you know what type of writing he does, for lack of a better word. If you don't know Carl Hyacin, I'm pretty sure it's H. I I A S E N or something. Carl, put it in there. I mean, you know, put it on Amazon. I mean, he'll pop up. He's written, I don't know, maybe 15 books or so. And they're just truly interesting books. He he writes about Florida. Uh, as I said, he, as I remember, he's a columnist for Miami paper. And he always has outrageous people. In other words, maybe not everyone, but a lot of the people in his books are I would say outrageous people, you know. And uh, for instance, he has a former governor who, who who lives in the woods and lives off roadkill. And the former governor appears from time to time. But you know, he has these kinds of characters. Uh, one time, he had a guy who uh, was a bad guy, and a Rottweiler latched onto his arm. He cut the dog's head off and walked around with with the dog's head on his arm. Uh, so, uh, these are the kinds of, of, of uh, uh, outrageous kinds of people he has in his books. But anyway, I didn't want to be that outrageous, but, uh, and of course I would never be able to uh, uh, <laughs> in any way entertain the way Carl Heisen does. Uh, but, I started this book, and as I said, I used a lot of people who I know, and uh I used, uh, well, not, ex you know, sort of myself. I don't know. But anyway, it was, uh, I'll give, I mean, not that any of you care, <laughs> but I'll give you a hint. Uh, what what I did is, is, is I had this couple who lived together, and this one, and the, the lady person of, of, of the couple believed in all kinds of, you know, weird stuff, astrology and numerology, blah, 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 blah. And the guy, uh, he was sort of oblivious to it all until all of a sudden he started asking some questions about all this, you know, this so-called complimentary stuff and the psychics and the this and the that. So the fellow, uh, or they, uh, whichever way you want to look, they, they had uh, <laughs> a Bouvier <laughs> puppy. Okay, I have a Bouvier puppy. Okay, I fess up. I have a Bouvier puppy. So what the guy decided, this is the guy in the book, not me, honest. <laughs> he decided that, uh, you know, the whole thing was so bizarre, all this stuff he was hearing, uh, that he he decided, uh, and I can't remember exactly, I think when I first started, he was just going to, uh, He, by the way, this fellow in there, earned his living playing poker, uh, primarily online, though he would go to Vegas and Atlantic City from time to time. That's how he, he had earned his living for or, you know, six, seven, eight years and, and had done reasonably well. So what he decided when he heard about all this stuff going on out there was that he, this fellow, was, <laughs> was going to have his dog start channeling. Do you guys know what channeling is? Anyway, and what he did is he uh, came up with this uh, this uh, some god or something from you know three, four, five, six, ten thousand years ago, and uh, he decided he was going to have this god channel through the Bouvier puppy. Now, of course, the Bouvier wasn't. Uh, an actual puppy puppy from the standpoint of it wasn't, you know, it was a couple of year, three years old, but I, my daggone dog, I, I, I still think is a puppy. So anyway, so what he was going to do was channel through 
the Bouvier puppy. Uh, and he initially started out thinking of doing that strictly to make money. Uh, in other words, you know, I mean, the poker was going well, but he figured, hey, you know, what the hell. And he had a point to make. He, the point being, maybe I'm, maybe I'm talking too much tonight about this stuff. But what the hell, nobody's listening anyway, so I'll just keep babbling on like a moron. Excuse me. And no, this isn't the important part. You have to keep watching. So what he did was he he dreamed up this god from years ago and, and said that the god had a red spot on its head and he was going to put a red spot on the Bouvier. And so he decided these people were so gullible, he just took some spray paint and sprayed a little dab of paint, you know, on the Bouvier, the red dot. And, of course, this would work in to the fact that, oh, the god, you know, 35,000 years ago, 10,000 years ago, or yesterday, or whenever, had this red dot. And of course, the Bouvier has a red dot, and of course, the god's channeling through the Bouvier. Prior to his, this fellow working up to that, uh, well, let me, let me go to part three. I'll be right back. Hold on.